Hey guys, this is Sham from Shamja.com and in this video we are going to perform a detailed benchmarking review of Infinix Note 3 Pro smartphone. We will be doing few benchmarking tests right here in front of you to see that how much score this device is going to get and we will compare that result with the rest of the smartphones as well. So the benchmarking applications that we got today are entry benchmarking, base mark, OS2, Basemark X, Geekbench 3 and Quadrant Standard. Out of which we have performed 3 just to save your time and we will be doing rest 2 right here in front of you. Infinix Note 3 Pro. It comes with 3GB of RAM, Android 6, Marshmallow OS, Mali T720 GPU, MediaTek 1.3 GHz octa-core processor with 6 inch Full HD screen. So now let's start our benchmarking test and let's see that how much all these hardware specs are going to contribute here so let's just start it so first of all let's have a look on the entity benchmarking it is one of the most popular benchmarking tests we have already performed it so let's have a look on this course directly And here we go. So you can see that the score achieved by Infinix Note 3 Pro is just 39,515. That's nearly 40,000. But it is not a good score considering uh, that this is like 2016 and most of the hardware we are having in mid range smartphones are performing much better than this. And if you go to the ranking tab, here you can see that iPhone 7 Plus is achieving as high as 172,000 and uh, if we keep going down at the 35th position there is Note 3 I don't know which Note 3 it is exactly it's written in Chinese but it achieved 43,629 so you can see that our Infinix Note 3 Pro is achieving less than that and even iPhone 5s that's an old iPhone as you can see it achieved 63,500 here as well and if you just tap on this compare button here you can compare the specs of our Note 3 Pro and this uh, whatever Note 3 it is so you can have a look on the score result of individual test here from RAM to UX and you can see that Infinix Note 3 Pro is performing better only in RAM and uh, UX image processing and UX input output performance in rest of the thing the performance of this another Note 3 device is better and the main reason that why Infinix Note 3 Pro is having lower score is because of the GPU used here that's Mali T720 GPU and it is very infamous for poor graphics quality if you have a look on this individual score here uh, of the entity benchmarking test you can see that in 3d graphics it achieved only 5223 for ux and cpu the performance is pretty good because you can see that it is having android 6 marshmallow os it is optimized well as well the cpu performance is quite good as well but when it comes to 3d graphics and uh, the performance of the GPU considered in this test we are having very low score that's just 5000 and because of that the overall score is uh, affected negatively and Infinix Note 3 Pro is achieving just 39,515 so this is just the entry benchmarking score let's go back let's have a look on our other benchmarking test so here we go with base mark OS 2 this test is finished as well let's have a look on the scores okay so this overall score is just 274 and that's really very bad if you have a look on the system the score is very nice it's 1886 we can consider it as 2000 for memory is good as well it's 719 but when it comes to graphics once again it scored 431 
and when it comes to web browsing just 10 I, I don't know like what is the reason behind this why for the web browsing the score is so less but these two the graphics and the web browsing these two are uh, contributing hugely for low score of Infinix Note 3 Pro in base Mark OS 2 as you can see here for the system and memory the performance is really nice and the overall average is nice as well for these two but when we are uh, summing the performance score of graphics test and the web browsing test the overall score is just 274 and that is really very poor so we can see that the graphics is what affecting the performance of Note 3 Pro in benchmarking test now let's have a look on Basemark X this is a graphics test a gaming benchmarking test and we have already performed it as well so let's have a look on the results here we are having the result for Basemark X that's 8757 and uh, considering the score of rest of the smartphones in this range this is once again pretty bad you can watch our benchmarking test of other smartphones and even few older Infinix smartphones and you will find that a few of them perform better than Infinix Note 3 Pro so here we can see once again that because of the old graphics poor GPU uh, the performance of uh, Infinix Note 3 Pro is not good in benchmarking test here so now let's go back and do rest of our two tests right you can see something just went wrong when I was going back the screen started flickering so now let's do the Geekbase 3 here we will do this test right here in front of you you can have a look on few of the aspects of this device the device is Note 3 Pro Android 6 OS MediaTek 6753 1.3 GHz octa core processor and 3 GB of RAM so let's just start the benchmarking test and once it is finished we will have a look on this course achieved by our Note 3 Pro and we will compare it with rest of the smartphones as well So the test is finished now and here we are having the score for single core it's 612 and for multi core it is 2882 let's consider this as 3000 so it's looking quite good here now let's go to this single core tab and here we can have a look on the score of our device and compare it with the rest of the smartphones so galaxy s5 scored 938 let's go down and here we are so asus nexus 7 the tablet that was launched in 2013 it is scored 590 so it's slightly lower than our note 3 pro and samsung galaxy s4 it scored 658 as you can see here so this is also an old device old smartphone it was launched in 2014 as i remember so Samsung Galaxy S4 and uh, 
asus nexus 7 our device is performing between these two so if you have used any of these two devices samsung galaxy s4 or the asus nexus 7 tablet you can assume the performance will be pretty much same to these two devices now let's go to the multi-core tab here you can see that our device is performing really very nice Infinix Note 3 Pro scored 2882 and Samsung Galaxy S5 it scored 2836 so if you have used Samsung Galaxy S5 having Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 processor you can see that this performance of our Infinix Note 3 Pro is pretty much similar to Galaxy S5 and then you can have a look on the rest of the devices as well like Amazon Kindle Fire is having 2730 Galaxy Note 10 tablet is having 2581 LG Nexus 5 scored 2538 so basically this test is all about the CPU and uh, as I said already that the CPU performance is nice in Note 3 Pro we have seen that even in the uh, entity benchmarking and also in Basemark OS 2 the performance of CPU was nice it was GPU basically that was uh, causing the issue and uh, uh, causing the overall low score but in Geekbench 3 which is basically a test for the processor for single core and multi core you can see that the performance of Infinix Note 3 Pro is pretty nice and it is better than the LG Nexus 5 and Samsung Galaxy S5 smartphones here so this is something good about Note 3 Pro that at least the CPU performance is nice but if you are a gamer you will be a bit disappointed with this device and its performance so here we are going with the quadrant standard that's our next test and once it is finished we will have a look on the scores So the test is finished and here we are having the score. It achieved 22,690. So if you compare this score with the rest of the smartphones in this list, we are having a few old smartphones like HTC One X, Asus Transformer Prime, Motorola Atrix 4G. You can see that Infinix Note 3 Pro is performing really very nice. HTC One X achieved around 5000 and rest of the smartphones much lower than that like asus transformer prime is having 5000 once again but motorola atrix 4g is having just 4000 score and our infinix note 3 pro achieved 22690 so if you have used any of these smartphones in listed in this list you can get the idea that note 3 pro will be performing much better than them and you can have a look on the individual scores once again here for memory it's 7148 for input output 6065 for 2d graphics 427 for 3d graphics 1841 so you can see once again that uh, the performance of cpu is very nice but when it comes to the graphics quality whether it is 2d graphics or 3d graphics the performance of our infinix note 3 pro is very poor and because of that the overall benchmarking score is getting affected so we can see that that the performance of cpu is nice the ram and rest of this stuff are working perfectly in this benchmarking test but whenever we are talking about the gpu performance it's going low so this is all about the benchmarking score of infinix Note 3 pro if you are a casual user this smartphone will perform uh, perfectly for you but if you are a gamer or multitasker then there is a possibility that you will not be satisfied with the performance of infinix note 3 pro and basically because of the poor gpu but this is all about the benchmarking scores we will do a detailed review of this device and 
a gaming review as well where we will be playing few of the most high-end games to see that how good Infinix Note 3 Pro is going to perform with Mali T720 GPU. So thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks and hands on videos like this. Have a nice day.